Oh my God, really? Again, um, no, I'm just kidding. Entrepreneur, woman in tech, author, professor, investor, but most of all, I am a surfer, I am a skier, I am a snowboarder, I am a golfer, so any outdoor sport. So um, that's who I am. Crazy hours, crazy parties, <laughs> crazy money. <laughs> Everything was good in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least for me, you know. <laughs> we didn't call it startup at the time, it just launched companies. Some did with something. I always say, with one company, you actually buy a house. With the other company, you sell your used car. So that's uh, being an entrepreneur to me. It's just uh, waves up and down. I'm Sabine Seymour. Um, I'm the co-founder of Pony Earth. Uh, we are measuring uh, biodiversity on agricultural farmland. I think it's important to find new ways uh, to um, really solve the big issues of our world. And that is, you know, food security for everybody because everybody needs food. It's about tackling the problems that we have with climate change. That actually does not end with, you know, capturing CO2. But that is about, okay, we need to not transmit that much CO2 in the first place. And then also to ensure that we do something positive, we enhance the environment again, instead of trying to close down and seal the land. I started programming when I was 12. When I was six, I was already like, I got to do something. So yeah, I was always in computers, uh, was always in physics, was always in math. Uh, so this really started my whole uh, like interest in what we currently have, uh, you know, as, as a woman in tech. My brother and I, we wanted to have a Commodore 64. My dad got us a Commodore 64. I got really bored by just starting level one all the time. And um, my dad was like, all right. And I said, dad, uh, can you teach me how to actually start at level three? And very easily it was just basic, so, you know, an if then loop. Uh, my dad taught me. So that's how it started. I remember the first computer in the, it was like this big, you know, and we got like these type of floppies, you know. Um, so uh, I was exposed to it super, super early on. In New York, I went to Columbia University and then I went to NYU and then I started programming Java and uh, started up a few companies and became a professor and had a laboratory, uh, became an author. Now I'm an investor and advisor, so New York opened a lot of doors. I was very fortunate that I graduated in 97 with my second degree, uh, and that was in interactive telecommunications, and that was the onset of the internet boom. So it was just perfect timing. Success is determined by what you feel is, you know, success to you. I think that is the important thing that um, we need to teach right now in this entire startup world, this craziness, that the success is, is you, is how, your well-being. Um, how do you, um, you know, define yourself? Um, and then very importantly, and that, you know, it's the team, it's like the people around you, it's your family. To me, that was always important. You have the freedom to go surfing when no waves. To me, that's, um, that's my success. There are, in particular now, when you talk about climate or when you talk about, you know, uh, sustainability, circle economies, there are many things that we can do to make the industry drive, meaning people have a job, people can afford their life, but it doesn't mean they have to constantly consume. Basically, what we do is we're creating a biodiversity standard for agricultural farmland. So we can uh, identify the health of the actual soil. So you can almost think about it like a bond. When it's a triple A bond, it's very good. And when it's a D bond, it's very bad. So we basically are uh, determined to give biodiversity a financial value. So, you know, looking into the important things, um, you know, sort of like digging your finger and say, hey, this is what you gotta, you know, look at. And at the same time, be excited. So have both. So that's what I think my grandfather said that he said uh, fixed costs and a lot of stock uh, kill you. Just extremely lean. Um, and the other is just have, just do it because it's fun, uh, because it's your thing. 
uh, don't do it because it might generate money. The, the actual vision is to be able to create a biodiversity standard worldwide and through that uh, finance the regeneration of agricultural farmland uh, and make sure that we have a resilient food production um, and um, be one of the solutions for climate change because we need many. Currently, the way innovation is actually defined is you have an invention, you get some money, you create a company, you create, quote unquote, be innovative because it becomes a product and you can sell it. So I think we need to redefine the word and or find a different word um, because um, to be innovative by itself, uh, shouldn't say that, but doesn't mean shit. Young people changing the world. <laughs>